Welcome to the Gentleman's Guide to Gaming and Day 8 of RPG A Day. It's a new week and a new question. The question for today is, do you prefer hardback, paperback, or softback if you prefer, or PDF versions of your RPGs? Now, there's a question I suppose I go back and forth on for different reasons. At the table, at a convention, running a game, or playing a game, I prefer a hardback book. Something like uh, the Call of Cthulhu 7th edition book is hefty, it's in full colour, it comes with a bookmark, everyone can refer to it, everyone can look through it nice and easily, you know that it can take a fair amount of damage and be passed around the table. And there's something just enjoyable about sitting there being able to flick through the pages. Art, to me, is much more aesthetically pleasing when you have it on the paper in front of you than when you're looking at it on a screen. I also find books more readable in paper format than on a screen. Couldn't tell you why, I'm sure there's some science behind it, but there is something satisfying to me about actually reading a book rather than a PDF. Now that said, when I first actually got into role-playing games, I much preferred the paperback versions. I think when I first got into it, and a lot of people do this, for instance, when I was playing Dungeons and Dragons a lot and Vampire the Masquerade a lot, you take around pretty much every single book you own, despite the fact that you're unlikely to use any of them in the game beyond the player's handbook or the core rulebook. Now... I'm not sure why that is. When role players first get into the hobby, they take every book with them in their collection, and it's obviously a lot easier to do that when they're a lot lighter. But these days when I'm running, I just take the bare minimum of what I need and kind of pull from my head everything else. I prefer them less now, the paperback versions, and the reason being, or soft covers, uh, the reason being that they are more susceptible to wear and tear. As an example, actually, when I was up at the hospital uh, and uh, my baby was being born into this world, uh, I had uh, taken the Book of Nameless Horrors for Call of Cthulhu 7th Edition as reading material to go along with the, uh, the joy of labour. Uh, quite appropriately, and uh, the, uh, I think, saline or IV drip somehow managed to drip and leak all over the book. Now, had it been hardback, the cover probably would have been able to weather that. The paperback version, not so good. So there you go. A real-life recent example of how a book can be damaged in the most strange of places. Anyway, that aside, PDFs actually have my preference for when I'm writing... Why? Because I need to refer to a lot of existing books when I'm writing, especially for an established universe. It's a lot easier to do that when I have lots of copies of PDFs than having to rummage through a bookcase or multiple bookcases spread around the house, maybe even in the attic where they're not necessarily accessible. I can certainly see the merit to using PDFs at the table if I was a less mobile individual and less able to carry so many books on my back, but I find that PDFs don't serve me as well at the table because I like to be able to pass the book around and flick through the pages and so on, as I've already recapped. So when I'm actually producing work, I refer to PDFs. Uh, when I am running a game or playing a game, I prefer a hardback book. Paperback, sadly, these days fall somewhat by the wayside. Um, these days, I suppose, my only preference for paperback comes in the form of their price. They do tend to be slightly cheaper than hardback books, but it tends to be negligible, so hardbacks would be my preference in general. There you go. There's the answer to the question for day eight, and I shall see you tomorrow for another RPG a day. Thank you very much for watching.